Hi, Brady. <laughs> Hi, Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Forget cables. Switch to Frontier. The Fios Triple Play brings dedicated 100% fiber optics to your home. Fios TV, 15 by 5 internet and digital phone for $108.50 per month with two-year price protection plan on qualifying service. FrontierPacificNW.com. <laughs> that got a laugh for sure. We, we knew that it would. Yeah. That okay. Was tough. <laughs> He's a tough nut to crack, that Brady. Well, we're talking baseball. I mean, look at it outside. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's 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 spring. Baseball weather today. Anyway, and, and uh, one of the things we talked about with Larry Stone today is I think one of the more intriguing guys in the Mariners this year is Franklin Gutierrez. He of the uh, irritable bowel syndrome, and I conceded that as someone who's had intestinal disorders before, and even in my case, it took about six months for them to get it right. It's a long time to figure it out. He really wasn't fixed last year. He really was light last year. He's, he's put on weight, and according to Larry Stone, he might be ready for a bounce back season. Now we need to figure out what a bounce back season is because as you kind of went through his numbers today and, and looked at a career year for him, he drove in 70 runs in a yep. career year. So do we is he that good? The, the 09 Goody, is he better than that? Depending on where they bat him, you know, he is a guy who's had RBI opportunities as we learned on the show today with 700 plus at bats in the 3-4-5 spot throughout his career. But did we learn we, that on the show today? We we did learn that. That was a that was a Bob and Gross fact if you listen to the show. <laughs> and uh I, I don't know what I, mean, I don't know what a bounce back year is. I don't know I what think that that's number it. is. I think you just said it. In uh, the two eighties. In the two eighties with, with eighteen home with runs. Some I think power, was. yeah. With, with with twenty home run power. Uh you know, that that's for me, still with him, offense is a bonus. Uh he's such a good defensive player and he takes up so much room out there. However, I mean two twenty with no power, I mean well, you you've yeah. gotta do better than that. Uh so for me I think a bounce back is to that level. Uh two seventy, two eighty guy. 15 to 20 home runs, 60 to 70 RBIs, like you said, depending on where he bats. You know, last year he was an automatic out, you know, with no power. This year, I mean, if he goes back to that realm, I mean, that's a comeback sort of player of the year performance. And what it sounds like, at least physically, he's capable of it. Now, whether or not, you know, his, his game and swing will all come back, we'll see. But he's 29 years old, as you pointed out, you know, when opening day hits. He's in the prime of his career. To me, he looks just like it's the scenario for a good major league player to have a big year. You know what's funny is, is as we've been talking about the Mariners, all the attention has been focused on Ichiro and Figgins and then to a lesser extent, all right, another year of Ackley, what's Montero going to be like and Smoke and Carr. We didn't really talk much about Goody. It's almost icing on the cake if he's able to do what we think he's capable of doing. Any any of these veterans, Ichiro, Figgins, Goody, Olivo, anybody who's in that lineup will take the pressure off all these young guys that we're all counting on so much. We're all counting on Smoke to come in there and carry the mail and, and Ackley to come in there and carry the mail for an entire season, which he hasn't done, and Carp and every you know, all these young kids who are really unproven through a full season. If if Goody can get hot or just be what he was, how much pressure does that take off That's Montero who might be hitting behind him depending on where they're at in the lineup it just, it just it takes so much pressure off everybody if these guys can come through and he's a guy who's we've paid very little attention to which is why and I think the league will too the league is going to remember him last year he's got a chance to get off to a fast start for that reason too because you know people saw a changed hitter last year so to me his progress and, and his year is absolutely one of the keys for the Mariners going forward because Franklin Gutierrez in my opinion Bob this is a guy who can be a part of things going forward not just a stopgap for a year or two but a big part of what they're trying to do in the future well, I'm glad he's feeling better.